New out of Larimer County tonight, Jason Bloom is a producer of Insidious, Get Out, Paranormal Activity, and Halloween. And tonight he is making his mark on Colorado, our state no stranger to horror, first made famous by Stephen King and later Stanley Kubrick and Jack Nicholson. The Stanley Hotel is now getting new life, becoming home to a film center and museum devoted to horror films and with the potential for movie production that has some on the edge of their seats. Your reporter, Alan Janae, was in Estes Park, which soon may cater to as many as half a million visitors a year, in addition to the millions who journeyed to visit Rocky Mountain National Park. This is a complicated deal with many layers, including the transfer of the ownership of the Stanley Hotel, the creation of an 80,000 square foot film center and museum is only part of a project that could ultimately double the number of buildings on this property, all of it in an attempt to attract a market that's largely untapped. It is a place of fantasy, the genre of horror films. Blumhouse is a production company with a devoted following and money and wanted a place like this, the grand lady that has lorded over Estes Park for 115 years. And have been looking uh, for almost six years uh, for a place to do it. Standing near a nitrogen-filled container that contains the body of Colorado's famous frozen dead guy, Brett O'Morstool, John Cullen has learned from his 28 years of ownership of the Stanley what attracts people. We have an emphatic and passionate customer that comes back time and time again. Customers who travel to the Stanley for its connection with The Shining. This is very much about what Stephen King started, but that will soon be a 50-year-old film. And today, Blumhouse produces popular films. People are still fascinated with the genre of horror. There's a market there, isn't there? There's a market. Oh, yeah. A market big enough for the creation on this space of a huge film center. Designed to complement the architecture of the property with a theater and display space Cullen calls chambers, where Blumhouse sets will be brought in after filming. They pack it up, send it to us, we unpack it and put it in one of those chambers. It brings up questions to visit Estes about what the town wants. The Stanley Hotel always has drawn that horror audience, so I think this is gonna expand that demographic. I don't really see any wrong kind of tourists. Does that change the nature of the town so much that there we're, might be opposition? We're not rebranding the town. Uh, we're simply giving those five million people that are already here something else to do in the summertime. But more importantly, giving them a sense of place and destination in the wintertime. In the end, John Cullen says he will, in effect, be donating the Stanley in support of arts and education in Colorado. And the hotel will be traveling farther down the path that has made it successful. And that is seeing opportunity in the stuff of nightmares. In Estes Park, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> Cullen will uh, continue to manage the Stanley under the sale agreement. Yeah, some of the site work for the film center is already done. Cullen believes it could be open in as soon as two years. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well,